Hello everyone, my name is Chao Li, a PhD student in Rutgers Business School. Today I'm going to introduce you a project called Applying Natural Language Processing in Audit Brainstorming, Knowledge Collection and Analysis. During, uh, during audit brainstorming sessions, actually the engagement team members will use various information sources to help them to discuss the risk about the clients. There are two main types of information sources. One is from the documents of the internal or external databases, such as financial statements, or sometimes they have the checklist which helps them to uh, guide them during the discussions. Another type of knowledge is from the auditor's experience and expertise. Actually, this is more based on the memories of the senior auditors. It is in the format of audio dialogues in the brainstorming discussions because they're going to record the things they have in their mind and discuss them during their conversations. Actually, for uh, this, in this process, a lot of very valuable information knowledge are discussed, but it is very hard to collect and analyze. There has been very few studies on how to collect this kind of knowledge, uh, how auditors actually uh, discuss the risk based, based on their experience and expertise, and how they make the audit decisions. And also, uh, there are very few studies on how to convert and store this kind of knowledge into real databases and make it usable again in future um, as part of the information as decision support or to integrate this kind of information into other audit tools. Therefore, in this study, we propose a continuous knowledge collection and management tool, which provides some very important functions. Firstly, uh, it will collect the knowledge and experience from senior auditors and experts about the client during the discussions they have in brainstorming. Also, we will collect their decision-making process about the uh, audit plan risk assessment and audit procedures. Also, the tool will transfer this kind of knowledge um, as decision support. And this knowledge can be used during uh, question answering interactions. Also, we provide recommendations to the future audit engagement cases on brainstorming procedures and risk area discussed topics. So it will provide some decision support for future engagement teams if they do similar cases on the same client or other clients in the similar industry. So that's the purpose of the tool. This is the workflow of the proposed system. There are two main parts. On the left side, Actually, when the engagement teams are having the conversations in their brainstorming meetings, their discussion as the audio will be collected continuously uh, through a voice recognition processor. And their audio streams will be processed and finally become a knowledge. And this kind of knowledge will be stored in a knowledge base, which will be used to support other models. And also, the engagement team members can interact with the tool through a chat board. If they want to have some answers about the queries they have, they can ask questions through a chat board, and the chat board will try to find the answer using the knowledge base. If an answer can be found, then the answer will go back to the engagement team. If there's no answer available, then the new question about the new topic will be saved in a separate file, and audit experts will verify this new topic and the new knowledge before it is permanently stored and accepted into a knowledge base. And here we focus more on this part about how we can collect and transfer uh, the discussions into a usable knowledge. So we will focus on these models. There are three main modules in this uh, knowledge collection process. The first is automatic speech recognition, then speech stream, uh, text streaming 
segmentation. And the third one is the knowledge discovery, which contains four parts, sentence topic discovery, topic linkage analysis, relative knowledge recommendation, and system adaptively updates. So I want to give you a very quick illustration about uh, what we do in each of the modules. So first, in the ASR module, the input will be the audio, and the output will be um, text words with no punctuations. And then in the audio streaming segmentation, the module will try to identify the uh, boundaries of each sentences so that as an output, there will be different sentences with different meanings. And then we can use these sentences to identify the topics discussed. So it is used for further analysis. Uh, that's the audio streaming segmentation. And then based on the sentences we identified, we will try to identify the topics of each sentence. In the topic discovery process, we have predefined uh, topic and the keyword uh, taxonomy. And in the end, for each sentence, we will discover its topic, which we can then group these uh, sentences to extract the knowledge. Here shows one example of the topic keyword uh, list. So these keywords will be used for identifying topics. Then topic linkage analysis. Actually, um, during the discussion, many topics are related. For example, uh, when the auditors discuss the weather risks, weather risks, they sometimes also talk about geography risks. And when they talk about IT security, they also mention uh, the risks about the management. So here we use the model to identify these linkages and try to use them as recommendations for future engagement cases. Here shows one example of the relative knowledge recommendation. If an auditor, if a user asks the chatbot about whether there are risks about the cybersecurity, then we give them the answer in the chatbot. One part is from the existing answers we extracted from the knowledge we collected. And then uh, we provide the related topics to provide suggestions for the auditors to discuss. These are based on the uh, topic linkages we identified. And also we have recommended risks and procedures based on our predefined rules. This may from the checklist or the requirement of the audit firm. And for the last one, system adaptively update, meaning that if there's a new question and we cannot find the answer, we will save the answer and then analyze it after the conversation. So that's a brief um, introduction of the project. And uh, thank you very much. You can contact me for more information. Thank you.